We maintaining reliable operations on my in-scale model railroad today. Let's get to it. All right, so in Not Bad episode 102, Uncle Wilmer asked us, Not Bad 102. This question of this week is, uh, I'm going to start off with, uh, when I'm just going to come right out and ask it. Now, other than money and time, okay, other than money and time, what is the one thing that is keeping you from completing your present project that you're doing for your layout right now? You know, a lot of what I have a problem with is... Uh, Let's just say, I, let's just put it this way. I, let's put it this way. I get lazy and I don't want to do it. Or I get disappointed because I've, so call it enthusiasm maybe. Huh? No, nah, I'm going to say enthusiasm because I'm enthusiastic about doing all kinds of things. I got big ideas and, and I'm slow at doing them. So, uh, so I'd say probably the, the biggest thing keeping me from completing my present project is one picking up which project to start and finish it before I start another one. Uh, uh, and uh, but my biggest problem is me. <laughs> so, with that said, I'd like to hear what you got to say. Leave me a comment. And you know, I thought that was a very good question. And for me, it was very simple. I'm just like Sparky, you know, I gotta have the trains running. So for me, keeping the trains running reliably between projects is tough. Seems like I gotta stop after every project and work on the locos, clean the locos, clean the tracks so I can get the train running good again so I can get back to work on my project. So what impedes me more than anything else is what we're about to do right now. I'm about to walk you through how I run through the locos, I clean them up. I'm gonna talk, walk you through how I clean the track real quick thanks to Sparky's easy track cleaner that I won in Sparky's contest. That's how I clean my track up, then I clean my locos out, and then I can get my train running reliably again. See, my daughter and I got a brand new puppy recently, and she is quite large and quite hairy, and so we do have dog hair out here in the train shed. So I am having to keep up with that as well. So maintenance on the track, maintenance on the locos to keep the train running reliably. I'm gonna show you how I do it right now. All right, so I got everything laid out over here that I need. I got the Easy Track Cleaner by Woodland Scenics. It's a great product. If you don't have it, I will be using it. I'm gonna put you on time lapse in just a minute because this does take a little while. But what I'm gonna do, first, I'm gonna clean the track. Then I'm gonna take my locos apart, get all the dog hair out of them, if there's any in there. Make sure I get any dirt, grime, grease out of there that might have collected, maybe any dog hair that might have been in there. Obviously, that's gonna cause me trouble. When you're one to 160 in scale, Tracks gotta be clean, locos gotta be clean. That way you get a train running reliably. Then you can get to your projects, then you can make your layout grow. I'm gonna put you on time lapse right now. We're gonna get to cleaning the track. All right, as I mentioned a couple times, I won this in Sparky's contest. I've said the wrong name a few times. It's called the Tidy Track rail cleaning system it's made by Wooden, woodland scenics it's a really good product i've had a lot of luck with it it came um it a blessing in disguise actually i got it and the puppy right about the same time here she is i'm not sure if she's in the picture but i think she may be um won this in sparky's contest and uh, a lot of uh, cool functionalities in this it does do this and this which is a lot very helpful for the tough to reach places it will also swivel all right it is for uh, all three scales if I'm not mistaken um, but for HO and N the only difference is is the way you just twist the 
if you use them uh, lengthwise they're in and if you twist them this way they're HO. Um, they come with four different pads. Um, the gray pad that has grooves, the dark gray pad that has grooves is for um, difficult uh, scenery type stuck to your rails and all. Um, you move into just dirty track which is your lighter colored uh, piece with grooves in it and then you go to a dark gray pad um, that has a little more abrasiveness and you use a cleaner that it comes with on it this is the third swipe around the track and then you finish up with a white so you can see how well you've done and everything you finish with a white pad that is pretty slick and it just leaves a nice slick film on the top and um, then I finish up with graphite um, I'm still DC and I have not ha had any issues with DC going with a very 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 light swipe on some areas of the track to improve electrical um, con connectivity conductivity um, on the track I find that it works well for me um, I did hear that in DCC and DCC++ um, from somebody that I kind of trust that it could cause issues so I don't know if I would recommend it for all you guys or not um, I have already shot this video in time lapse with me cleaning the track with the exception of the helix uh, one time so um, the lighting was terrible so I'm reshooting it now and you'll just see me using the last two pieces on the whole track because it's been a couple days and then I'm actually going to be doing the helix um, I'm going to get into it pretty good I might even use uh, the uh, third piece on it um, I don't go all four unless I've been doing scenery work glue stuff like that around the rails but I'm probably going to use uh, the last three pieces on the Helix because it's been a couple weeks since I've done the Helix at all. And I've got my Locos good and clean. I'm going to roll into a video of me breaking them down and cleaning them up after the time lapse of me cleaning the track. And then I'll show me putting them on and them running around one time real quick. Y'all stick around. The two pads that you begin with. The pads that have the notches that are used to get scenery glue, real tough stuff off, or uh, caked on dirt, tough dirt, um, that kind of thing, are not turnout friendly. The other two pads are, but the ones with the notches and the grooves in them do not use those across the turnout. You just use the last two pads, two and one.
I want to thank you for watching with me today. Check back in a couple weeks. Got a buddy with a Sculpta Mold alternative video up around 6,000 views. I'm wondering what the heck's up with that. I'm going to go over there and check that out. See if that process works. My daughter's going to be here today. It's like a craft project. We're going to work on it together. Like I say, check back in a couple weeks for the results. I appreciate y'all. Take care. Have a good day.